Hello, and welcome to the third of the songs from my undiscovered musical, Richard, based on Shakespeare's Richard III. There isn't an actual scene in Shakespeare's play where this song occurs. However, he alludes to the situation in Act 3, Scene 1, lines 24 to 60. For this scene, I've turned to a book written in 1513, this one in fact, predating Shakespeare's play by some 80 years, and arguably the basis for his play. It's called The History of King Richard III, and it's by Sir Thomas More, later beheaded by Henry VIII and made a saint 400 years later. Anyway, back to my musical. After the death of King Edward, the eldest of his two young sons, the 13-year-old Prince Edward, is next in line to the throne. Richard, who has been made Lord Protector of the Realm, has placed the young prince in the Tower of London for his protection and well-being. But he now wants his younger brother, who is ten years old, to join him in the Tower. That way, Richard has them both under his control. Their mother, however, Queen Elizabeth, on hearing that Richard has placed her eldest son in the Tower, has claimed sanctuary together with her other young son in Westminster Abbey. At that time, criminals and political offenders could claim sanctuary in a church where they would be safe from capture. This throws Richard and his cohort Buckingham into a state of panic. They must get the young prince out if their plans to put Richard on the throne are to succeed. They go to the abbey and ask for the release of the young prince. The archbishop refuses and an argument ensues. And Richard threatens to remove the prince by force if need be. The wily Buckingham, however, comes up with an ingenious argument for the young prince's release, saying that only those who are accused of having done something wrong and who fear for their lives can claim sanctuary, and that as the young prince does not fall within either of those categories, he can neither claim nor be granted sanctuary. This argument wins the day and the archbishop tells the queen she must release the boy into Richard's hands. Faced with this Fait accompli, the Queen realises she has no choice and reluctantly agrees to let the boy go. However, in her heart she fears the worst and sensing that this might be the last time she will ever see him again, asks that she may be given a moment to speak with her son. The others agree and leave her alone with him and she sings, Goodbye, my son. There is an instrumental break in this song, and rather than you having to look at me trying to be emotive without singing, I've inserted a portrait of the real Queen Elizabeth, painted from life in about 1471. And as you will see, she was a very striking woman.
safe from any harm. Goodbye until I hold you once more in my arms. I must be brave.